Theo oh, Jackson like has played uh, a lot of different positions that Defender Theo has. It, does that speak to his football IQ? Is he good with film? What, what makes him good that he can play different positions? Yeah, uh, Theo's always been a guy who just knows football really well since he came in, I'm assuming. I know when I got here as a freshman, uh, sitting in those meeting rooms and Coach Pruitt and also now Coach Martinez and those guys just asking certain questions. Theo being like one of the first guys to respond to that shows a lot with maybe because he's been in the game so, so long, but also maybe because he watches a lot of football outside of just watching film on specific teams. How hard is it to play that star position? Yeah, I don't really know exactly how hard it is, but I know as, as a DB, you know, you have a lot of ground to cover. Uh, there's a lot of technique things that goes into it. So, you know, I feel like it's big on the preparation side of it, just making sure you prepare the right way, making sure that you, you know, ask the right questions and know the game plan and know where your help is and things like that. How would you grade the defensive performance? Uh, really good question. Um, I was actually thinking about that on Friday morning and just because uh, being a leader on this team, but also knowing that we could do better than what we showed, I'll probably give ourselves like a C minus. What's so low? Just because uh, we kind of left a lot of plays out there on the field in the secondary, um, I feel like we could have tackled a little bit better. I feel like we did do a good job of stopping the run game, but whenever they went to the passing game, I feel like we could have done better there. So. Well, I'll tell you to keep, I know you wanted the execution to be better, but you always keep them out of the end zone. Does that mean anything? Yeah, it does. Um, you know, I feel like any defensive team wants to keep every team out of the end zone and have a big old donut up there with zero points, right? Uh, but. You know, we, we gave them two opportunities to kick field goals where they drove the field on us and they got big chunks um, in the game. Um, I felt like if we kind of kept our composure and I felt like if we kind of executed a little bit better, we have a big zero at the end of the game. Also, you look at guys like maybe like Ollie Lane on offense and guys like Solon Page, they're on defense. Guys that have been around here four or five years, haven't played a lot. Mm -hmm. How nice is it to see them out there, you know, get a chance to play? Make a play? Uh, it was exciting. You know, uh, those guys prepare the right way throughout the week. They've been preparing since you know, the whole new coaching staff got here. So, you know, when their number got called, their name got called, they were ready to execute, and they went out there, and I don't think they blinked. I think they were right where they needed to be. They was on a sideline engaged, so whenever their number got called, they were ready to go. Well, too, the fun and energy that you guys have really talked about in practice with this new staff, did that carry over into the game on Thursday? I feel like it did. Um, a lot of guys were excited. You know, uh, like I said before, seeing the ball walk, having the traditional things back, um, having the fan base there, having our family there. Um, I feel like that was that was a fun part of it, but really just the coaching staff was really great on the sidelines when things weren't going the right way. You know, we had a good communication uh, style as far as on the sideline, getting the right correction so that we can go out there and execute the next series. Kenny Pickett's a pretty mobile quarterback for Pittsburgh, and I wonder what kind of a challenge is that to face a quarterback that has that kind of running ability. Yeah, um, watching film on Pitt and watching him play against UMass, um, you know, their coaching staff has been there for a long time. Great quarterback, like you said. Uh, you know, they, they do good what they do. Um, we just have to make sure that we game plan the right way, make sure we hone in on the details. Um, we had a pretty long break here before we played Pitt, right? So getting in the film room early, being able to uh, nick pick at certain things, ask a lot of questions today. So we'll come in tomorrow as we get ready for practice and get our game plan ready, and we'll just, you know, do what we're supposed to do. And I feel like if we execute our game plan, we'll have the best chance to win. How much do those extra couple days help to prepare for, for a tough opponent? Is that a big deal or not in the, in the grand scheme of things? Not really. I feel like regardless of who you're playing, right, uh, any couple extra days that you can get, you know, uh, Pitt didn't play till yesterday, right, or Saturday, sorry. So, you know, we played on Thursday night, so Friday night we kind of had to watch film from last season. But then after watching those boys play on Saturday, we got to get a feel of how their new style is, seeing who left, who's actually coming back, guys that they have going. So extra days is always helpful for us all. Um, so, you know, we took advantage of that, and I feel like as we go into preparation tomorrow, we'll be ready to go. Did you, did you watch them live Saturday, or were you flipping around kind of watching them? I was watching a lot of games on Saturday, but I made sure that whenever the whichever game I was on, I made sure to go to the pit game. Because, um, you know, watching on TV is a little bit different, but now that we have it on the film, I can kind of go in slow motion, reverse, you know, go back, see certain things that may help me uh, help our defense out. Anything about them looking noticeably different this year compared to last year? I mean, I know they had the transfer from Florida, the tight end, number seven. Uh, he was hurt last season, so he didn't play with them. Uh, this year, I, as far as you can see in the UMass game, they used him pretty well. I'm um, in the passing game, so uh, that was a big difference that I noticed. There were a lot of restrictions last year because of COVID. What was it like Thursday night playing at Neyland? Had the traditions back, had a big crowd. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, I think 
just the fan base itself but then the new led lights that we have in there was dope you know going to different away games where we actually got to see those lights but now having them in kneeling alone uh is awesome but having a fan base there man is, is very different being out on that field and you know it's third down and the crowd's going crazy right we score a touchdown the crowd's going crazy it's a different feeling a lot of people don't think that the fan base actually helps but they help a whole lot for us just knowing like you know they're with us they're in there the energy's exciting you know it kind of just gives you that one up sometimes I'll tell you, what are your thoughts on this being the Johnny Majors Classic, all the history that Coach Majors had at both schools? Yeah, so uh, when that news came out, I told myself I was going to do more research on, you know, Johnny Majors and just like what the Classic is and things like that and just like who he is and how much he's done for the university. Um, so I just haven't done a lot of research on it, but I do know that it holds a lot of weight. And, uh, you know, we don't want to put too much pressure on ourselves. You know, we still want to go out there and play football. But, you know, just knowing that this is a game that's representing him and things for him is something huge. Thank you. Yeah.